So for our next group, we just have two products, but we're also keeping things to three minutes, so I'm going to keep it short. The first person who's going to show us a little something is Adrian Gonzalez from Mystica VR, exactly. who's going to show us this really, really cool tool that I saw yesterday in action. So I'm going to use, an, as an example, the X6 okay. camera uh, rig from, from GoPro. So first thing I'm going to do is to synchronize the audio of all, of, of, of all the cameras to match it. Go to the reference frame, sync, and then when, uh, when uh, with a range of frames, I can just match the, uh, the audio of all the cameras. So all the cameras are in the same position. Once I have it, I have the offset here. To put the cameras in the right geometry, I can load one of our presets that we have created inside uh, Mystica VR. We're creating a full library of presets to, to do it. Uh, so we load it using GoPro Cube. Open it. Okay, that's right. And so what now, cameras are supported, really quickly? Uh, just GoPro, also Jont, uh, Kodak Fix Pro, everything really. Okay, cool. So now that we have all the cameras in the right position, I just to go to change the horizon line. So go to a reference frame as well and just drag the image until I find the horizon. There we go. Okay. And there you go. So now if we move to here, the next step will be to match the color. So to do that, I have to select the right gamma curve, which is the GoPro uh, Pro Tune Flat in this case, because we're using GoPro, color, match color. So done. Now we go to zoom in and select another area, and we see there is some kind of misalignment here in the geometry. So we go to positions, improve alignment, and fixed. And then if we go to another area, we saw one of the most common problems in any VR rig, which is the double image, because you cannot make a perfect match in the whole, in the whole parallax of the, of the image. So the only way to fix that is, is with optical flow. And the optical flow in Mystica is very fast and pretty accurate. So if we, open, we load the optical flow and increase that feeder. And uh, while you show them that, I want to ask you really quickly, is it available for people to buy now? Can they demo it? And uh, how it's much going is to it? be the beta version is going to be ready in two or three weeks. Uh, and then when the beta version is, is, is ready, we will release the software in one month or two months as much. All right, cool. And this is part of your Ultima package? Uh, yeah, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a standalone product, so you can use it with any other software. Okay. But if you have another HDO product, you can just save, save a project from here and just open it in other software right. and continue working there. Awesome. And I will have to say that there are a lot more features that we didn't get to because three minutes is never enough yeah. time. Yeah. Um, but I think you did a really good job covering some of the, the key, key points.